In this video, we'll see how to join collections from Xano inside WeWeb. So let's say, for example, I have a ticket collection displayed here in my WeWeb app, and I also have users linked to tickets, and I want to display the name of the user who created the ticket. So the thing is, in my Xano um, database, so let me go to the tickets. I have my user ID, and the thing I want to display is actually the user name. So in WeWeb, I've got my, my, sorry, my tickets collection and inside it I have a user ID. So if I were to uh, bind the username inside my ticket, you see that I can't because I only have the user ID. The first thing is that because I've got my user uh, collection, I can do a lookup. So a lookup is actually a formula that will search inside an array for a value. And if it finds the value, it will stop and return the whole uh, item that was matched. So for example, I will say that I will search for the user ID one inside my collections user.data. And inside each users, I will search for the ID um, parameter. So here, because I've got a user with ID one and my user ID in my ticket is one, it matched my whole record with my name. So now I can do stuff like get key value and say that I want only the name from the user. And that works. But that means that you need two collections which can take time to load and is sometimes a bit slow, yeah. So another um, way you can do this is actually inside Xano. So if I go back to my ticket table, you see that I've got user IDs here that I can use in my API. So in my API, I created, I created, sorry, a ticket, a get, um, sorry, a get endpoint to get all my tickets and that the endpoint I'm using for my collection inside WeWeb. And in Xano, we've got one cool thing called add-ons. So inside my query all records from tickets function, I can go to the output. And you see here that I've got the um, schema of what will be returned by Xano inside the API call. And I can click on add-on, and then I can create a new add-on or use one if I created one previously, so I will create one. I will say which from which table I want to use the data, I want to fetch the data from, so here, user. And I will say how I want to match this data. So do you want to return the counts of the items match, the aggregate, the existence, all the items if you've got multiples, like many to many um, joint tables. Here it's a one to many. So a ticket can be linked to only one user, but a user can be linked to multiple tickets. So I will use single item. And you see here, Xano automatically provided me with the user.id because it knows that it's foreign key. And I can add a sorting if I want, but no need because it's a single item. Then I will call this add-on user, create it. And then I will, so you see that Xano automatically uh, reference the user ID and is asking me how, like the key under which I want the user return inside the response. So I will let underscore user and now I will click done. And you see now that I've got my whole user with all its data. So I can save, publish my endpoint, go back to WeWeb, actually fetch back my data in the tickets collection. And you see now I have an object user inside each of my tickets. So if I go back to the binding, you see here, I've got my user that I can now expand and choose the name. And that's it.